Time to get on the right path with Right Path Real Estate Radio with Jason Bible. Get the answer to your question that's keeping you from taking action and succeeding today. Get ready. The guy that will put your fears behind you is on the air now. All right, Taking fellas, calls at 713-785-1817. Toll free 877-881-0271. Now here's your host, Jason Bible. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Jason Bible, Right Path Real Estate. <laughs> I just saw our bookkeeper and office manager. She's got headphones on. Which is kind of funny. It's, it's kind of like she's a DJ there in the <laughs> in the front office. We've got glass in our new studio, so I can see some of the stuff going on in the hallway. Uh, folks sneaking in and out of Tom and I's office. So I got a special guest with me. I've got Colby Amarine. He's a real estate investor, and he happened to just be wandering the hall. So I was like, "Why don't you come to the studio and do the radio show with me?" So welcome to the show. All right, thank you. <laughs> I'm here. So. Uh, uh, moved into the new house this weekend. Like everybody, I went to Home Depot, spent some of the college, some of the kids' college account on buying stuff at Home Depot, and then of course all the honeydew projects and everything else. So I'm pretty tired. I'm ready to take a vacation from the weekend. Uh, but of course, we're here talking about real estate investing, and I got to spend some time on some real estate groups this weekend, which was fascinating. Uh, it's fascinating to see. When somebody will say, hey, there's no way you can do that. You can't build a business that fast. You know, there's no way you can buy that many houses. And then, of course, I tell them, you're right. You can't. We can, but you can't. That's amazing, right? So, Colby, you've been a real estate investor for how many years now? Going on four. So, going yeah. on four. Oh, that's yeah. right. You started the same, same time, time we did. Yeah. That's right. I forgot. So, and you started, and you were the proverbial, like, no money, no credit guy, right? So, and and maybe you could explain a little bit how easy it is to do real estate with no money, no credit. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's probably the hardest thing I've ever done in my life, and 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 I was a firefighter for ten years, so that's not easy either, right? Yeah. Oh, but, yeah. Uh, absolutely. But yeah, I mean, you know, working, uh, leaving a different industry, going into real estate, having to spend, uh, you know, pretty much fifteen to eighteen hours a day, and majority of that was networking, finding finding buyers and finding sellers at networking events, but also studying, studying mm -hmm. terminology. I think people don't realize when you get started in this industry, you've you've got to learn the lingo, mm -hmm. the language, what do the forms mean, what is the financing like? Mm -hmm. And so a lot of those hours are spent at night just studying. Uh, you know, I took the the real estate exam, uh, mm -hmm. the TREC li uh, re realtor license exam so I could look at the forms and learn how all that stuff got filled out. And so... It was a huge struggle. Mm -hmm. I mean, it really was going and and finding uh, going to three networking events a day, finding mm -hmm. those buyers and finding exactly what they mm -hmm. were looking for, and then they would go home. So I'd go to another meeting, yeah, you know, yeah. kind of be them, you mm -hmm. know. Hey, I'm looking for these houses and, yep. and find somebody selling the house and putting it together. And you know, saying that doing it with no no money, um, the the falsehood of that is you really you're doing it with other people's money. I mean, oh yeah, you have to do it with other right. people's money. But as far as not having seed capital to run a big marketing campaign, yeah, that was me. So it was it was my boots on the ground. Yeah, and that were those were probably seventeen, eighteen hour days. You know, you're learning and then you're networking. I mean, you're networking your face off. I mean, you really are going from event to event to event to event and then you know, getting deals under contract and selling those deals. I think sometimes there's this there, oh, I shouldn't say sometimes. There's this perception out there that like Oh yeah, it's easy. You just like go find a deal and then just go sell it to somebody else. And it's like, yeah, that's the whole business. <laughs> and, that's, and to go from networking event to another networking event to another one is just it's not easy and it's a lot of hours. So can you do this with no money? This business, no money and no credit? Yeah, but I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Which way would now that you've got now that you've got a business that's up and running and you've got sales staff and marketing all that stuff which do you prefer sending out postcards and letters and working with agents or hustling rooms for for deals oh i love the marketing now i mean i remember the first uh the the, the challenge for me was i had spent the first 18 months two years doing it the analog way if you will yeah. right going to all the meetings that i was actually scared to change mm -hmm. anything but as soon as i started marketing with postcards and, and letting that uh, take its time mm -hmm. to get to get that pipeline going. Once that phone started ringing without me having to go anywhere, mm -hmm. oh man, that's the way I do it now. That's yeah. the only way I do it now. Yeah, it's it's a lot easier when they call you. 
<laughs> it's a lot easier than having to use foot power or your knuckles knocking on doors to go find deals, right? It's just a lot easier to say, hey, I'd like to sell my house. Oh, great. I just so happens I might like to buy it. Let's set up an appointment and go t- and chat. So uh, phone number here is 713-785-1817. You can talk to Colby and I, who have a combined eight years of real estate experience. Although from a transaction standpoint, we've got a couple of decades. So we can answer your questions about wholesaling, flipping, being a landlord, or working as the bank. That's really the only four ways to make money in real estate. Everyone will tell you, oh, there's 900 different ways to make money in real estate. No, there's not. There's four. They're all derivatives of the four, right? It's either I'm holding on to that asset and I'm going to rent it out. I'm going to I'm going to take that asset and fix it up and put it on the market and sell it to an end user owner occupant. That's called flipping or sell it to the retail market. I'm going to lend my money or my bank's money on a deal. That's being the bank. And then the fourth one is I'm going to find deals for real estate investors. Now, you hear this all the time. Hey, I want to get into real estate investing, but I want to get into wholesaling because that's what you do first. That's the easiest thing to do first. (laughs) And you and I know that's an absolute joke because that's the hardest thing to do in this business, right? Because you have to have a sales and marketing skill set that are better than the other three investors, right? You're going to buy a house and then you've got to sell it to another investor. There's got to be enough meat on the bone to sell it to another investor. Yes, you definitely have to have the best skill set, the best acquisition, best marketing to get to get mm-hmm. there first, and then obviously the best sales <laughs> skills to be able to, to acquire the property at a deep enough discount to add value to a, to right. a house flipper. Yeah, m- what we see a lot of is where real estate investor, I shouldn't call them investors, wholesalers are really just getting anything under contract and then they're just kind of sending it out. They're just kind of, uh, my favorite, one of my favorite things that I hear from Scott Carson, he calls those guys joker brokers. So all they're really doing is just just sending contracts out there. And you guys are signed up on every, most, most of the people listening to this radio show are in real estate. Or if you haven't gotten into real estate, once you get into real estate, you're going to start signing up for every wholesaler's list in town. And as you do that, you're going to start to see all these deals come in. Like Colby and I are signed up on everybody's list, right? So we see the deals coming in. In fact, sometimes if you get outbid on a property, you'll see it come across as a wholesale deal, right? And you're Mm -hmm. like, hey, I know that house. And then you'll see the number and you're like, there is no way it's going to close at that number. It is completely impossible. You have to find somebody who is so naive in real estate, so new, so clueless for that deal to close. And, and sometimes it does, right? That's right. <clears throat> and then eventually you run into somebody who bought that deal, and they go, I lost a lot, bunch of money buying this house from a wholesaler. I'm like, it wasn't that you bought it from a wholesaler. It was that you didn't know what you were doing. You weren't properly educated, right? Right. Bought it at the wrong price. <clears throat> bought it at the wrong price. We'll tell you this, and we talk more about it at the weekend retreat. The only thing that you, the only mistake you can make in real estate is paying too much. It's the only mistake you can make in real estate is paying too much. And Tom on Thursday night is going to talk about how not to pay too much. And one of the steps in determining how to do the deal is the value of the property. Tom's going to spend an hour on Thursday night doing nothing but talking about how to figure out the value of a piece of single family real estate. And if you're interested in going to that class, go to rightpathrealestate.com and you can sign up there or send an email to uh, Veronica support at Right Path Real Estate. But that's the first step. So you're you're working on a deal. What is this house worth? And, and Colby, I know you were working on a deal not too long ago that <clears throat> it was hard to get a value. So and you're a guy that's looked at thousands and thousands of deals, and you looked at this one. You had to bring in some extra help, right? You had to bring in an appraiser. Bring in an appraiser, absolutely, because it was. Uh, in an area that has a lot of acreage, and mm-hmm. uh, it was next to an area that's kind of got newer bills, and not a lot of things had sold in that mm-hmm. in that area. So yeah, I brought in an appraiser, which was was pretty interesting. Yeah, because I had valued it at about four sixty, and mm-hmm. and the appraiser said it was five fifteen. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> so that'll work. That works out really well, <laughs> right? Absolutely. And that's just the most critical number you have to have because if you can't get the top number right, then obviously. Every other number is going to mm-hmm. go to the bottom line and be wrong. So. Well, I was working with uh, one of our clients this weekend. I was watching Tour de France, and I was getting messages over Facebook from our private group. And so I was going through, and I was looking at, well, here's a deal they're working on. And we were looking at all the other numbers associated with doing that deal, right? I mean, it's first you want to get that top number right, which is, hey, what's the house worth when it's all fixed up? Two minutes. And then we like to back into all the other numbers. And this is where people get lost because they go, wait a minute. 
I thought the most important number was just to know how much the house is worth. Well, I'm like, well, that's, that's important, but I want to know how many other houses are on the market? How many have sold in the last six months? What are those days on market like? What's the current absorption rate? You know, if I'm looking at a, a rental property, how many rentals are on the market? How many rentals have sold as, you know, leased properties? I like to look at all of that stuff. And then, of course, one of the other great numbers to know is what kind of rehab do I need to do? You know, if these properties are selling for $300,000 and it's all solid gold finishes, that's going to be a really expensive rehab versus, you know, if it's just a plain old rental grade rehab, right? So you get that top number right. And then there's all these other numbers you got to know working your way down. I want to know how long it's going to sit on the market. That's one of my important ones, I, right? I was just about to say, I think the second most critical number is time. One minute. Mm-hmm. Because time can kill the deal. It, kills, it changes all your numbers yeah. when, you're, when you're borrowing money on these mm-hmm. things. I mean, it's like six months versus a year. You know, that particular property, is it going to move in six months or is it going to move in a year? Yeah. Because close to a half a million dollars is, mm-hmm. is expensive money, mm-hmm. you know, for six more months. Yep. Which can change that bottom line. We, were, uh, we had our deal review meeting on Friday where we get all of our sales team in, talk about the deals we're working on. We're looking at a deal in one market that has multiple houses that have a thousand days on market. So it doesn't matter how cheap you get it, you're gonna hold it for like a couple of years. We get back from the break, we're gonna talk more with Colby about being real estate investors. Jason Bible, Right Path Real Estate. Mic's off. (laughs) Are small returns getting in the way of your retirement plans? Why settle for mediocre results? there's a better place to invest. The experts agree, single family real estate is one of the best investments you can make. Find out how JB Fund Services offers a 9% preferred return and up to a 13% waterfall. Call us today at 281-915-0906 or visit our website, jbfundservices.com. That's 281-915-0906. This investment is offered to accredited investors. Have you ever experienced the pain of trying to get MLS comps for your hot lead? If you've lost deals waiting for MLS comps, you can understand the frustration. How much would it help you if you no longer had to wait for a real estate agent to get you the info you need to close a deal? Propelio is a brokerage website that gives you instant 24-7 access to high equity lead lists and comps with access to a network of the top real estate agents. Get an edge on everyone else. Get a free 7-day trial today by going to GetMLSComps.com now. That's GetMLSComps.com. You found or inherited a great investment property. Problem is, you don't know how much it's worth, or more importantly, what to do to maximize your investment while mitigating risk. This is exactly why we started Next Gen Appraisals. Next Gen is a group of appraisers specializing in investment real estate. We understand that investors aren't just looking for a number of what their property is worth, but a comprehensive analysis of the market. Give NextGen a call at 713-346-9911 or check us out online at nextgenappraisals.com. Let's see here. Halet Law helps wholesalers and real estate agents get deals closed. Seller has too many title defects? Too many dead people hanging around? Taxman wants a slice of your pie? We work with sellers and title companies to resolve those defects and get clear to close so you get paid. No one can guarantee success, but we'll do our best. Contact Alert Law at 346-231-1120. 346-231-1120. Paid for by Gerald Alert, principal offices in Houston, not board certified by the Texas Board of Legal Specialization. Investor loans offering up to 100% financing are still available. You just have to know where to look. Look no further than Noble Mortgage. Noble Mortgage is a full-service mortgage company that's been helping investors since 2003. Noble Mortgage offers up to 100% financing to investors that covers purchase, repairs, and closing costs. In addition to private money, Noble Mortgage offers conventional loans, FHA, and even no-income documentation loans for both residential and and commercial properties. Call and ask about our five-point guarantee, which includes free pre-qualifications within two business days. Call 713-680-8100 or visit noblemoney.com. That's noblemoney.com. Our team has over 50 years experience in the mortgage industry. Call us today, 713-680-8100 or visit us on the web, noblemoney.com, noblemoney.com. NMLS 292143, 8203 Willow Place Drive, Houston, Texas, 77070. 
Are you looking for an investor-friendly general contractor for your investment property? Then call Fast Track Remodeling at 832-742-9992 or reach us on the web at FastTrackRemodeling.com. Fast Track Remodeling specializes in turnkey right, remodeling of single-family investment right. properties. Whether it's a flip <clears throat> rehab or a rental rehab, we manage every aspect of a rehab from start to finish with a highly efficient, standardized process. Over the last six years, Fast Track has completed seconds. over 700 projects, which has helped us to create our three keys to success. Use a detailed here. scope of work so that everything gets done, train and maintain quality crews so it gets done right, and complete the work no, in a proper order so it gets done fast. No more managing it yourself. No more doing the oh, work yourself. Um, fast Track Remodeling really does manage it all. Well, so give us a call today at 832-742-9992. Again, that's 832-742-9992. Or reach us on the web at FastTrackRemodeling.com. Then you get the December. This is Business 1110. Call Jason at 713-785-1817 and look for us on Facebook Live at facebook.com slash right path real estate. All right, guys. Hot mics in five, four, three, two, one. Welcome back. Jason Bible, right path real estate. I got Colby in studio with me. We're talking about, you know, buying houses and, and stuff. That's what I used to say in high school. And my parents still make fun of me like, you know, what are you doing? You know, working on a car and. Stuff, stuff, and <laughs> you know, got some other things going so on, and so stuff. forth. Yeah, so <laughs> and some stuff, <laughs> some stuff. We had some uh, friends' kids with us this weekend, so we had four kids. Cameron is ten, and then the rest of them. Well, I think Miles is nine, but they were all you know little kids all running around. Of course, we got the pool in the backyard, and then the, the pool pump decides to take a weekend, so it took a vacation this weekend. So it turned like green and cloudy. <laughs> kids don't care, right? They don't. They're Although they shocked it real hard on Friday night because they knew the pump was going out, so of course the oh. kids' eyes are bloodshot. Everybody's like got green hair, and <laughs> but they loved it right there in the pool whole week, whole, whole weekend. But <clears throat> one of the little girls that was there, um, she would say before she'd start talking, she'd say, "Hey, guess what?" And then she'd say whatever, and you're like, "What is it, sweetie?" Well, then she's, "Well, hey, guess what?" And you're like, "Uh huh, uh huh." Like uh, every other sentence was like, "Hey, guess what?" So it was a lot of fun. Anyway, so real estate. Uh, investing, talking uh, during the break about getting your numbers. What are all the numbers you need to do in order to do a deal? Top line numbers important. What's it worth when it's all fixed up? I'll tell you, one of the numbers I love is what's the lowest price in the last five years? Yeah. Because typically, if you look at a neighborhood, that lowest price in the last five years is usually a very distressed house. Like It's not a pretty house. It's the one that has, you know, it's it's got a a sun or a uh, you know a skylight, but there's no skylight there. It's just a hole in the roof, right, where it <laughs> rains in. Um, so, anyways, I like to look at that number, Colby. You said time, and I think time's important, right? If you're going to be on the market for three, four hundred days, it's kind of nice to know that up front. Absolutely. And if there's any, you know, we do all of our numbers conservatively, but if there's any number that you definitely want to be conservative with, it's that time number. Because it just it can eat you up and and it it starts the day that you close right the minute mm -hmm. you sign the papers and close there goes the clock that's right and so with interest and, and everything else you have going on man one more month two more months mm -hmm. three more months all of a sudden that bottom line gets less and less and yep. less one of the things I've I've told folks before from stage and they always give me the shock look I said you don't make any money rehabbing houses and they're like what. What I don't understand. But you're flipping a house, you're making money. I said, look, every day that house is under rehab is another day where money is flowing out the back door. Like it's less money, less money, just the holding costs alone. So when you're rehabbing a house, it's got to be fast. It's got to be... Day, day you close is when it starts, right? Something I learned from, uh, from our good friend Robert Orfino is uh, he did a lot, of, a lot of flipping houses, several hundred houses. Mm -hmm. and, and from a contractor standpoint, that was his background. Mm -hmm. And what he always told me was go in there and take a dry erase or, or window marker mm -hmm. and put $150 a day. One hundred and eighty dollars a day. Mm. That that's what the, you know. Three hundred dollars yeah. a day. Whatever that house is costing you per day. Yeah. Put that on there, and that way, when if crews are slow or anything's yeah. happening, you can just point at that window. This is one hundred fifty dollars a day. Who's paying that? Yeah. Who's writing right? that check? Let's go. Let's go. They're sitting on buckets, <coughs> and hanging out, yeah. or whatever. <laughs> you know, it's interesting. We've got our sales sheet for our Wednesday morning meeting says all the deals we have under contract, stuff we're flipping, stuff we're under contract to sell, that sort of thing. And I've always thought about putting a sell in there of our cost per day and then our aggregate cost, right? 
So it's 150 days. We've held it. We've held it for 100 days. We're in that thing for what? Fifteen thousand bucks, right? That's it. Say, guys, every day it's 150 bucks. And of course, at our sales meeting, most of those people are in commission. So that's a that goes directly against their commission, right? That's right. That's not just my hundred. That's not just evil business owner Jason. His 150 bucks. It's everybody's 150 bucks, <laughs> right? So I like it, but. Yeah, so start with that top number and start working your way down. And Tom's going to spend Thursday. We call Tom Rain Man here in the office because <laughs> of all the numbers he's got. He's kind of a mental calculator. So, uh, so you're going to have to bring on. You're going to have to bring your mental track shoes, as Jim Rome would say. Bring your mental track shoes with you Thursday night because he's going to go over one of the critical components of making an offer on a piece of real estate is knowing what it's worth and uh, and being able to discern from the data the deal right. If it's if all the houses that are your competition are 200 days on market and they haven't sold, guess what? You know, it doesn't matter how fast the other houses sold. If they sold in 30 days, guess what? That market slowed down a little bit, hadn't it? Mm -hmm. So you're going to be holding that property longer. Uh, so trying to figure out how, and, and it's really the the economics, if you will, of that submarket. What's going on in that submarket? And we've seen where. Deals looked really great on paper, but you you never checked the current inventory or how long those houses are currently on the market before they were sold. And all of a sudden, you're in a declining market and you didn't know it. You know, you didn't do all your homework. So, in any case, guys, it's Thursday night. Go to rightpathrealestate.com. You can sign up there and check it out. Uh, you and I were chatting during the break about uh, the you know you're the average of the five people that you're around, and I was telling you a story. I got to meet some of the neighbors this weekend. We were working in the garage, and so they'd come over, say hi. Because you moved to the new house. Yeah, moved to the new house, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, moved to the new house. Uh, so if you guys have seen the house in Sugarland, uh, that's the one that uh, we were rehabbing. So moved into the house this weekend. And um, in any case, so we've had uh, neighbors coming by, talking to some of the neighbors. Hey, how's it going? Great, good to meet you. And it's fascinating to see, and our old house was a great, great area too, but it's amazing to see these people, the level of success they've achieved, right? I run this type of business. I do this, you know, I, and I was telling, Colby was telling you during the break, said, you know, this one guy came over and said, oh yeah, hey, you know, been in the neighborhood for a couple decades and, you know, I got a, I got two sons and uh, we just started start talking about Boy Scouts. He's like, oh yeah, my oldest son's a Eagle Scout. My youngest one is uh, getting close to getting his. And it's just like, you know. It's just normal to have a bunch of Eagle Scouts on your block, right? That's right. <laughs> you get up in the morning and they have, have excellence, you know? Yeah, that's right. You get up in the morning when excellence is, is, the, is, the, uh, is the expectation. That's just what you do, right? That's it. Yeah, it's just we're going we're gonna to do it. There's, there's a reason from that section of Sugar Land, you know, there's an Olympian that came out of that swim, that swim team there, right? It's just, yeah. That's we're where gonna, your boys swim, too. That's right? where the boys swim, right? right. And it's like, we're just going to be really good. You know, it's, it's fascinating. It's one of those Jim Rohn quotes where Jim Rohn says, it's, uh, look, you don't have to be the best, but we're just asking you to do your best, right? Just, just do your best. That's all we ask. You know, some people are going to be Olympians and some are not, and that's okay. But as long as you do your best, it's really all we ask for. That's it. You know, and, and back to your saying, you know, hanging out with, uh, with successful people, you know, it, it breeds success. I mean, you know, uh, a friend of mine, Mark Norcross, is a billionaire. Mm -hmm. just, just spending a weekend with him, mm -hmm. just hanging out with him, just revolutionized. Mm -hmm. My business, you know, just hanging around people, spending time, spend a weekend with with some folks that you know that are successful, mm -hmm. and you will take some of those traits and those and implement. Yeah, and and then spend more than a weekend, spend more time with them, and all of a sudden, you kind of become the average. Of yeah, them. you become that mm -hmm. average. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you got a couple of billionaires and you're not a billionaire, and then <laughs> no. you take the average of that, and go. That's not that's a bad. That's not average. bad, right? That's not a bad <laughs> average. You know, if it's only eight hundred million bucks, I didn't quite make it to a billion. I think I'll be okay with that. Darn. But then, of course, you get around those guys, and then you're like, "Well, I, I ought to be worth 1.3 billion at this point, right?" <laughs> and then you start, you know, it's it just it's another layer, it's another level, you know. You start, you keep, keep keep kind of moving up. One of the things I talked about this morning on my Facebook Live is one of the critical components of success is humility, and it's amazing to me. I I noticed in certain groups some it some people are just. It's, um, how can I put this? You and I have talked about this where we're going to start doing parody videos of the guys who are real estate gurus that are hanging out with like Lambos and Ferraris and these 10,000 square foot houses in California and all that. And I came up with a term for them. I'm calling them the Lambros, <laughs> right? So 
course, the Lambros, that once you start to get into real estate on Facebook, they start target marketing you. That's why you start to see those commercials, right? Mm. So if you get on Facebook, folks, and you start seeing all these weird ads with these like 20-year-old kids that have got all these fancy cars and they're zillionaires, they claim to be, most of them aren't. But anyways, it's it's how they market. And one of the things I'm, I've I found is that there are different uh, different personalities in different types of real estate investing, right? The wholesale people always seem to be like the fast buck crowd, you know. The landlords, usually typically, typically a little bit older. They're in it for the long term, the retirement side. Uh, flippers, I see on both spectrum, the flippers are kind of everywhere. Uh, and then typically the, the people who are lending their money are, are usually a little bit older. Uh, a lot of times I've found that those are uh, one of the other three types of groups, but they're just a little bit older and they're tired of doing the real estate game. They just want to lend their money, right? right. Uh, they're like, look, I've, I've done enough rehabs. I really don't want to do this anymore. Can I just give you my money and you just go do it? That's what a lot of our private lenders end up being. They're friends of ours who have flipped houses and then said, yeah, this is getting in the way of my five-day-a-week golf game. So See, if, here, I'll just give you a couple hundred thousand bucks. Go do it. It's been my goal since I started to be mm -hmm. the bank. I mean, originally... You know, start out wanting to get rentals and kind of get in, got into flipping. But it, ever since I've started and since I had to learn to use OPM, mm -hmm. other people's money, I said that's what I want to be. Yeah, from the get go. Mm -hmm. So that's it's in my you know five year plan is to yeah. be the bank. And, yeah, and that's where we got the the fun going, with Robert, because mm -hmm. that was that was our goal, right? Is yeah. to be that be that bank, be the lender, because it's it's. All money's good money. Money coming in is oh, great. Oh yeah, money's always great. But, yeah. but the money that comes in that you didn't you did something one time for, and then yeah. it just comes in over and over and over. Mm -hmm. That's the best money out there. One minute. My favorite. Uh, one of my favorite things that uh, Quincy told me one time. We were sitting on a panel, and somebody had asked this question like, "Hey, what are the different ways that you calculate rates of return?" And and I could tell Quincy had gotten this question before because he just kind of leans forward into the mic and he said, "Look, I only have one metric that matters." Effort to return ratio. I'm like, and I said, what is that? And he said, look, I look at how much work I have to do. You know, if it's sign one piece of paper from one side of the desk to the other, that usually has a pretty high effort to return ratio. But if I got to go out and like look at a house or review a deal or all that, the return's got to be higher because I'm putting a lot of effort into it. And I thought, that is a brilliant way to look at investing, right? How much time do I need to put into this thing at this point, right? All right, we get back from the break. We're going to talk more about real estate investing, humility, and uh, how to determine value of a house. It's Jason Bible, Right Path Real Estate. Mike's off. <coughs> Did you know that there are over $24 trillion in retirement accounts in the U.S.? Imagine if you could use someone's IRA to fund all of your deals. Well, you can. Quest IRA is based locally here in Houston, Texas. At Quest IRA, we offer retirement accounts that can be used to invest in real estate, promissory notes, private entities, and much more. Many of our clients loan money from their IRAs to fund real estate deals you know all over the country. We don't sell I've any investments agree. or give advice. However, we do hold free networking events, weekly educational classes, and free consultations with an IRA specialist. For more information, visit our website at questira.com or call us at 1-855-FUN-IRAs. To tap into the $24 trillion in retirement accounts in the U.S., call Quest IRA at 1-855-FUN-IRAs or go to our website, questira.com. Do you have cracks in your brick, doors that stick, or sheetrock that's coming apart? Then you may have Foundation Movement. Due to our expansive soils in the Houston area, it's probably not a question of if you have movement, but when. Call Foundation Check for a truly independent, unbiased foundation evaluation. Foundation Check has been in business since 2009 and has completed over 1,400 evaluations. We're not in the business of repairing foundations or selling you unnecessary peer work, but we are in the business of evaluating your foundation. Our product is designed for house flippers, landlords, or even owner-occupied properties. Each of our files is reviewed by a licensed engineer. Remember to check before ever repair. Call 346-702-3825. That's 346-702-3825. 
or you can reach us online at foundationcheck.com. That's foundationcheck.com. Are you an active real estate investor? If so, a real estate attorney is a crucial member to add to your team. Contact Alert Law at 346-231-1120. Alert Law serves clients in real estate and business law with principal offices in Houston and their acquisitions and dispositions. We are equipped to serve you in your residential and commercial real estate law needs. Contact Alert Law at 346-231-1120. We draft and review docs and structured transactions and represent you in disputes and litigation. Or choose one of our transaction packages to cover your sub-2, wholesale, wraps, or private hey, financing deals. Our business and commercial services a less than 90 business seconds. contracts, okay. entity formations, <clears throat> and business consultations. If you need a reliable, dedicated firm to serve on your team, contact Alert Law at 346-231-1120. 346-231-1120. Paid for by Gerald Ayler, Principal Offices in Houston, not board certified by the Texas Board of Legal Specialization. Are you expecting to close accurately, on time, and with lots of communication on your home purchase? You've come to the right place. I'm Jennifer Hernandez, Senior Loan Officer with Legacy Mutual Mortgage. Our goal is to give our borrowers and referral partners an amazing experience during the loan process. My team believes in putting people and culture before results. Our company concentrates on building those teams who operate with structure, process, and recognition for going the extra mile for you. This way, we have the energy to make this your best home purchase ever. Give us a call today to find out the simple steps to get started. I'm Jennifer Hernandez, the Hernandez team at Legacy Mutual Mortgage, (laughs) jennifer.legacymutual.com or call 713-579-3611. Again, jennifer.legacymutual.com. We can't wait to consult with you soon. NMLS 514497. Equal housing opportunity lender. NMLS 514497. This is business. We'll come back, guys. Call Jason at 713 one eight one seven, and look for us on Facebook Live at right, facebookcom slash right Real Estate. Three, two, one. Welcome back, Jason Bible, Right Path Real Estate. I'm here with Colby. We're going to be in LA, and I'll tell you what, we're going to be there for a couple of different events. And Colby, you got it all pulled up. We'll talk about it here in a second. But I'll tell you what, uh, those of y'all who are in other states right now, where it is absolutely miserable, like we started moving Wednesday. And of course, we got to go outside to do stuff, go into the garage. I think all I've done when I get out of the office here is just sweat for four or five hours, just being present outside, not doing any work, just being. So I'm so excited about LA just for the weather, but then also to be around with this great group. So what's the what's the group we're speaking in front of? So yeah, so it'll be um, July 29th. We we'll up there 28th and 29th. Okay. 28th, we're doing a class on sales and closing deals, uh, and. Casey Everhart's going to be there. He's an amazing guy. And then everybody's going to be on the 29th. It's a real estate summit from uh, Alpine Premier Investments. And we're going to be at the um, Airtel Plaza Hotel Conference Center in uh, Fernando Valley, Van Nuys. It's close to the Van Nuys Airport. Airtel Plaza Hotel. And it's going to be a little real estate summit, uh, putting together a panel of folks to build it like a business. So, mm-hmm. of course, Tom Perry, Jason Bible, mm-hmm. right? We're going to be there. Uh, we're going to have, uh, I think, Jillian Sadati is going to be there. We're going to have oh, a, Jillian's a good time. Yeah, she did <clears throat> And a, a tax guy is going to be there. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't have the list of names, but mm-hmm. you can go to Alprime P- Premier Investments and, and go there or go to the woodlandsrink.com and mm-hmm. go to the events and, and look it up and get some tickets from Eventbrite. But uh, the list of characters, the cast of characters Cactus will be there. Character, yeah, yeah will be there. But it's going to be built like a business. So it's going to be some tax professionals, some legal professionals, mm-hmm. uh, some business building, house yeah. professionals. And, uh, and it's going to be amazing. <clears throat> this is not the uh, everybody can be a millionaire, fill out this... You know, do these three yeah. things and all that. These are this is all high level folks, uh, but great for the new investor, right? I mean, this is this is um, one of the things we're trying to do is change the the industry of real estate education, where it's when you have these events, it's a professional business event, right? It's hey, here are the things you need to know about this topic, and I know we're going to do part of a mastermind in that group too. Yeah, hot seat's going to be one of the biggest things. Obviously, every expert is going to talk for you know thirty minutes to an hour mm-hmm. on their expertise, but then the 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 big thing there is to have the hot seat where you mm-hmm. get an opportunity to get in a chair in front of all these experts, true mastermind of experts. Mm-hmm. Say, here's who I am. Here's what I'm doing. 
and here's how it's going for me. Mm-hmm. And then everybody's going to have their um, expertise and look at it and fix your problems right there. Mm-hmm. And we, we like to call it, um, have you ever heard the book or the story of six degrees of separation? Yeah, you yeah. Know, you're six people away from whatever you mm-hmm. need. In this room, you're one person away yeah. from what you need. One phone call, one contact, yep. fix your problems and grow your business. It's going to be a blast. It's 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 going to be pretty sweet, especially when you get a couple of, couple of guys and gals around from different parts in the nation. Because like you said, somebody will go, hey, I know a guy. Like, mm-hmm. you know, and here's his number and give him a call. And he, oh, you're having a problem with that? I know a guy or a gal that does this. And so it's always a lot of fun to get in with a group of people who are doing a lot of deals, kind of your own your own mm-hmm. peer group, right? And then share that collective knowledge with, with the folks that are going to be in attendance of that group. Look at it like this. There's somebody across the nation somewhere doing exactly what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Maybe they're a step or two ahead of you. That's right. right? And so you mentioned a few problems you're having, and they go, oh, you need to talk to Joe over here. Mm-hmm. He's... Three years ahead of that, mm-hmm. and he this is exactly what he did to fix it. Give him a call; he'll straighten you out. And you know, what, one of the reasons we started Right Path Real Estate about a year and a half ago, uh, and Houston House Buyers was only three and a half, three three and a half years old at the time we started Right Path. One of the reasons we started it, we didn't want to be in this business for twenty years and then start teaching real estate education because we always wanted to be able to say, "Hey, look, we're only a." couple of steps in front of you guys here, right? I mean, it's not like 30 years experience and then, but the problem is, is when you have so much experience, you forget what it's like when Mm. you started. Mm -hmm. And that's critical to know. What was it like when you started? And if you forget that, then you're not able to share some of those lessons and some some of the heartache, but also some of the successes when you were a new student. That's right. That's right. Yeah, people have been doing it for so long. We used to say that in the fire department. Some of those guys... Have forgotten more than you'll ever learn, mm-hmm. right? Because they've just done so much. But yeah, it's nice to have somebody that's just a few steps ahead of you mm-hmm. that have gone through the roadblocks and you know got through the hurdles mm-hmm. and 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 can share that knowledge with you. Yeah, so it's a lot of fun. Say so, yeah, I I know exactly what. Or of course, and then the other flip side of that, one of the other reasons we started Right Path is you know we do a lot of stuff in Houston, right? Well, now we're doing things in Dallas, so it's a lot of fun to have people inside our markets. And then as we're growing these groups. You know, we've got folks in Seattle now. We have some in California. We got them in all over the state in Texas here, and it's fun to get all of them together so they could share best practices in their markets. So, and, he can, and we're going to do that Thursday as it relates to comps, right? So, you guys come on down Thursday, rightpathrealestate.com. We're going to teach you how to do comps. If you're new to new to the business or you've been in the business for a couple of years, it's important to know how to value a property. So. Uh, so to go back to this proximity principle, I mean, that's really what we're going to talk about uh, next week, right? When we're in L.A., it's a group of high-powered professionals that are going to be on stage, if you will. There's going to be a, there, there's going to be a whole lot of them there. It's probably a good way to put it too. Right. Um, so it's going to be a really good group. Where do they get tickets from for the for um, the event? They can go to. Uh, we should put a link on the Right Path page too. Oh yeah, they can go to Alpine Premier Investments or thewoodlandsrenc.com mm-hmm. and go to events. Okay, and click on it there. Mm-hmm. It'll go through Eventbrite, but uh, definitely should come out there. I mean, especially all of our West Coast folks. Yeah, and we got a lot of people watching. It's West Coast. two weeks away. It'll be July 28th, 29th. So you guys ought to ought to come down and and uh, and if you're in Texas, get out of this. Summer heat. Jeez, get out of this <laughs> oppressive heat here. I, I felt like when we were up in Dallas last week, we got a little reprieve because it wasn't quite as humid, but I'm like, this is still hot. <laughs> it's when you realize that Texas was never really settled, if you will, until the advent of air conditioning because it's, it's just too hot here. It's so hot. So, uh, yeah, take a little trip out to L.A., especially those of you in Houston or Dallas. It's a short flight. they got directs out there all the time. So uh, you can come out there and see us at, at that event. And then, of course, we've got the weekend retreat. I mentioned earlier we may have tickets left. I don't know. I don't That's know if coming you know. up uh, this, this weekend. weekend. Yeah, I don't know if we have any tickets left. That's the thing. I, I didn't check the, the roster. Check the Valley. In. It was somewhere around uh, 8 to 10, I think, Okay, left right now. So if you go to support at rightpathrealestate.com, you can send Veronica an email, or you can go to rightpathrealestate.com and sign up there. Let me explain real quick what is the weekend retreat. How we got into real estate education is folks would ask us time and time again, Jason, Tom, can you take me out to lunch? I, or, or I take you out to lunch or dinner. I want to bend your ear, pick your brain, all that stuff. You know, Tell me how you guys became so successful. And, and what we found is when we went on a lot of those meetings, aside from gaining a whole bunch of weight from going out to eat all the time, uh, one of the things that we found is that most people have the same question. 
It's the same questions, right? Uh, there's, and I'll tell you this right now, there's no secrets to this business. There's really not. Now, there's a sequence to get it t- to do it right, and there's certain things you have to do in order to, to do it right. But I'll tell you this, there's really no big secrets in this business. So a lot of y'all have the same questions. So then we got on the radio, we started doing the radio show, and then people started asking us, look, Jason, can you do like a weekend class, like a weekend retreat? And I said, yeah, we can do that. So this weekend, it's Friday through Sunday. And it's all day. It starts about 9 in the morning. We finish somewhere between 4 and 6 o'clock, depending on how many questions we get. And I'll tell you, it's exactly how we built Houston House Buyers. There's no, you know, there's no secret, like, you know, you got to buy this special thing to get the super secret, you know, sauce and all that stuff. Uh, it's, it's literally, this is how we built our business. I will tell you this. It's a heck of a lot of information. <laughs> it is, man. It is. It's a fire hose information. Oh, it's it's a lot. I always get that question too. Is um, they, people always ask me when they sign up, or is is this everything, or is there going to be something after it? And I'm like, no, it's not the seven pillars of success. We're going to give you five, and then you got to <laughs> pay more to get the other two. Yeah, right? yeah. No, it is everything from A to Z, from the beginning to to the current day of of Houston House Buyers and how it was built. Yeah, it's it's the whole enchilada. Now, the only problem is it's a really big enchilada. So, we went from 2 days to 3, right? Yeah, that's I right. Mean, yeah, it used to be yeah, 2 days yeah. and now it's now it's 3 days. So, yeah, it's a lot of information. It's the whole thing in a nutshell. If you want to know how we built it. I mean, we get into we start day 1 with Hey, this is this is the language. In order to be a professional in business, you got to know the language, right? So we talk about language, we talk about math, and then we start to get into business systems and how you know there's really two things going on. There's real estate as an investment, and there's real estate as a business, and those are two completely different things. Two minutes. And I'll tell you right now, I've been to a lot of real estate education, nobody makes those distinctions. Those two things are critical to know because they're, how you evaluate both of them are completely different. How they're run are completely different. So we start with that. And then uh, we talk about business systems and we go into day two and we talk about starting to implement those things by raising money. Where are you going to get capital from? Banks, private money lenders, hard money lenders, all that other stuff. And then the second half of day two and all of day three is marketing and sales. It's marketing and sales, and there is a lot of it. I spend six hours on stage just on marketing, and Tom easily spends another four to six hours just on sales. And, and that's it's, not even it's count, a lot. It's not even counting the whole VIP thing, too. Where that's right, yeah. It's even another 20-something hours, because after class is over, you know, at 5 o'clock, then it's, you know, from... We go to dinner and then hang out afterwards. And I mean, sometimes you're up till two thirty. That's <laughs> yeah. The Houston <laughs> retreats we always seem to stay up later, right? Man. But but I'll tell you this: so that that's for the general admission. <laughs> if you sign up for the VIP, which is like a thousand bucks, you sign up for the VIP. We do breakfast, lunch, lunch, and dinner with Tom and I. We also stay up for nightcaps and stories and all that. I'll tell you, it's kind of like I like to call it the campfire experience too. I kind of want to change the name to it, but I, it's like a campfire experience and. We've been up as late as 2 o'clock in the morning before, sitting there in the hotel lobby just talking about deals and telling horror stories. And then uh, occasionally my wife will come, and then she reminds me of all the stories when we first started out. It's, it's a lot of fun. So go to rightpathrealestate.com if you want to sign up for the weekend retreat, uh, and we will see you there. When we get back from the break, we're going to talk more with Colby about real estate investing. It's Jason Bible, Right Path Real Estate. Mike's off. More like a chimney chugger. Have you ever experienced the pain of trying to get MLS comps for your hot lead? If you've lost deals waiting for MLS Copies comps, for you can understand the LA. frustration. There we go. How much would it help you if you no longer had to wait for a real estate agent to get you the info you need to close a deal? What's up? Propelio is a brokerage website that gives you instant 24-7 access to high equity lead lists and comps with access to a network of the top real estate agents. Uh, like get an ahead. edge on everyone else. Get a free seven-day yeah, trial today by going to getmlscomps.com now. That's getmlscomps.com. The last you found segment is really great short. investment property. Problem is, you don't know how much it's worth, or more yeah, importantly, what to do to maximize your investment while mitigating risk. This is exactly why we started Next Gen Appraisals. Next Gen is a group of appraisers specializing in investment real estate. 
We understand that investors aren't just looking for a number of what their property is worth, but a comprehensive analysis of the market. <laughs> Give NextGen a call at 713-346-9911 or check us out online yeah. at nextgenappraisals.com. <laughs> Rehab loans, conventional loans, FHA, and no-income documentation loans can seem scary unless you have the right mortgage company to guide you through the process. Since 2003, Noble Mortgage has been helping investors just like you. Whether rehabbing houses, buying your first home, rental, or commercial property, Noble Mortgage offers up to 100% financing. Call Noble Mortgage at 713-680-8100 or visit noblemoney.com. That's noblemoney.com. NMLS 2921 Willow Place Drive, Houston. Oh, that'd be great. 77070. Time is money in the real estate. Until I open up, I if go, your insurance company is slow or non-responsive, this is a deal <laughs> like that. You need a quick turnaround. And, and, you know what's so funny is to see the people that are going to actually get it, and the other people are like, God, he's a horrible speaker. The team at Benchmark is the mindset. This guy's terrible. They know what you need and when you need it. It's there for you. last Monday. Call Houston's leading real estate risk management experts. Benchmark Insurance Group of Texas. 281-569-4353. That's 281-569-4353. Or online really at Friday benchmarkbroker.com. Are you looking for an investor-friendly general contractor for oh, your investment no. property? Like, then call Fast Track Remodeling at 832-742-9992. Or reach us on the web at FastTrackRemodeling.com. Fast yeah. Track Remodeling yeah, specializes in turnkey <laughs> remodeling of single-family investment properties, whether it's a flip, rehab, or a rental rehab. No more managing it yourself. No more doing the work yourself. Okay, Fast track quarter. remodeling really does yeah. manage it all. <laughs> so give us a call today month? at 832-742-9992. Are small returns getting in the way of your retirement plans? Why settle for mediocre results? There's a better place to invest. Right. The experts agree. Single family real estate is one of the best investments you can make. Find out how JB Fund Services offers a 9% preferred return and up to a 13% waterfall. <laughs> Call us today at 281-915-0906. JBFundServices.com. That's 281-915-0906. This investment is offered to accredited investors. Time is money in a real estate deal. If your insurance company is slow or yeah, non-responsive, you could lose a deal like that. You need a quick turnaround on quotes or binders. The agency for that right, is Benchmark Insurance and Buy Tech. The team at Benchmark no, I, understands I, the investor mindset. Everything's been in they know what you need and when you need it. Mess. We're here for but you. Tomorrow, Are you a Tuesday, rehabber, Thursdays, wholesaler, Hello, buy and hold, or flipper? Bundling your properties on a single policy will help save time and money. Benchmark has been in business for over 10 years. So and we insure right. over 30,000 properties. It's, uh, Contact Benchmark about our exclusive investor package. Call us it's and right. let us show you what we can do yes. for you at 281-569-4353. That's 281-569-4353. Or online at benchmarkbroker.com. That's benchmarkbroker.com. <coughs> That's 281-569-4353. Or online at benchmarkbroker.com. This is Business 1110. Send that email out to you. Call Jason at 713-785-1817 and look for us on Facebook All right, Live guys, hot at mics and five, com slash four, Light Path three, Real Estate. Two, one. Welcome back. Jason Bible, Right Path Real Estate. So, Kobe, first time on the radio. Any parting words for our folks here for the last couple of minutes, last segment here? Oh, man, just get out there and, and uh, if you're in real estate, get some deals. Dude, some buy, some buy some houses. Jeez, I mean, just don't stop the. I got a, I got some real interesting emails this weekend, and I'm like, you know, go out and buy some houses. You know what fixes a lot of things? Buying houses. <laughs> it's like <laughs> my business is doing X, Y, and Z, and this is I got this going on and this going on. Blah, 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 all these excuses. Okay, get off your butt and go buy some houses, right? That's right. How many of y'all? And I, I'm. This has been kind of my theme through July. How many of y'all are where you want to be? We're six months through the year, rolling into seven. You got your New Year's resolution there back in January. Are, are you guys anywhere close where you want to be? Have you reached the place that you want to get to or not? And then what are you doing to make those changes? Are you going to wait till January? Are we Are going to wait another six months till January? I have an interesting question. What's that? Are you tracking your numbers and metrics to even know if you're close or on track to get there? Uh, I like that. Because I, I like mean, that. you ask people a lot of times, are you are you hitting? Some most people don't have goals, and then you right. say, are you hitting your goals? And they're like, oh yeah, I'm getting close. Like, well, how do you know? Yeah, 
What's what? What did you, what did you do last month? The mm-hmm. month before? Daily? Mm-hmm. What is that activity? You know, you and I talked about it on Facebook. We had a little exchange yeah, on the yeah. working out thing. You know, and it's yeah. like, well, why did I put on weight this week? Well, I looked at my thing and I'd walked every day except mm-hmm. for that week, you know, and then you did your Garmin thing with your, yeah. you know, with your bike. And it's like, it's the same with your business. Like it, how many calls did you make? How many offers appoint, or appointments did you go on? Mm-hmm. And that will be the metric that will tell you if you're getting your goal. Yeah, I, I could tell you, I think we're the only real estate educator that actually talks about metrics. You'll hear some people call them KPIs, key performance indicators. And what those look like on a weekly Basis. Actually, daily. You could track it daily if you wanted to. You really want to Two get minutes. that granular. But, I mean, you're, you're absolutely right. I mean, maybe you wanted to buy 10 houses this year. You only bought three, so you're not quite there. But can you look back at your metrics and say, all right, my next two houses are pretty close based on these numbers? And we talk about that at the weekend retreat. I mean, this is that's how you get to your goals. It's like you said, hey, I want to lose this m- much weight or be at this performance level. And then you can look every day. Am I eating the right stuff? Am I doing the right, you know, exercises and activities to meet this future goal I've got in the next six or eight months? I got a buddy of mine sent me a note. He's doing the uh, an Ironman in 2018, so he's already putting you know programs together. What am I doing every day to meet the 2018 goal? And it's and I joke when when I tell this to people, they're like, "Oh my gosh, that's a great idea!" And I said, "You've already done something like this." And they said, "Really? Yeah, you got a college degree, right? Yeah." What do you do when you first sign up for school? You get a degree plan. And what's that degree plan have in it? One minute. All the classes. And then when you go to a class, what do you get? You get a syllabus. And what's that syllabus got in it? All the test dates, the quiz dates, when's the homework due and all. That's all you're doing. And you're doing it in real estate, right? Now, the trick is, are you working with the right people that can help you build the syllabus and the degree plan to get where you want to go? Because that's the secret in this business. Are you working with somebody that can do that? 30 seconds. More importantly, have, can yeah. you work with somebody who's done who's that? Who's done that? Yeah, I was about to yeah. say, are they doing it? Are they doing it? I mm-hmm. guarantee you most, I don't know them. I don't know all of these educators out there. A lot of them are not. Go send out some yellow letters and try and buy some houses. Seconds. That doesn't work. Rightpathrealestate.com, facebook.com slash rightpathrealestate. If you've got any questions, you shoot them to Veronica Support at rightpathrealestate.com. Colby, thanks for being in studio. Thanks for being And uh, thanks for everybody listening. If you guys happen to be hanging around the studio, we might just drag you in here and do an interview. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we put Colby in this morning. All right, we'll see you guys. Thanks for listening. All right, guys, have a good day. All right, thanks. Thanks. You're welcome, bye.